<laughs> Welcome back, everyone. I'm chuckling because this video is going to be about a reoccurring friend of the channel. Keeps coming back and doing the same thing. Today, we're going to have a look specifically at an older video he did where he's auditing a police station, waddling around the parking lot, filming nothing, and then trying to get into a confrontation with a police officer. It's a classic frauditor video. And while you're at it, go subscribe to my second channel if you haven't already. Thanks. Yeah, she did pretty good, actually. Unit 20. Yeah. Uh, this is a safe haven location. That means if you want to uh, drop off a baby that you don't want, you can do it here safely. It can be anonymous. You won't have to worry about it. And they won't ask you too many questions. Oh, glory. Flying in the breeze. Thank you for our freedoms. This is the tiny man behind the camera. Our old pal, Jimmy. <laughs> now, as you see so far, nothing's taken place. And, you know, the conversation has been whether or not auditing or filming inside a parking lot or anyway, anywhere that has public access is wrong. And I've stated my stance recently that I don't have a problem with that. Now, of course, we haven't seen any indication that there are restricted signs. There could be, we just don't know. But again, it's not the full story with these guys. And as we'll see with Jimmy, he's not here just to film random cars or random signs. Jimmy's here to start a confrontation, as we will see shortly. bicycle right there. There's a helicopter sounding like it's taking off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See if we can catch it. Oh yeah. Check it out y'all. Awesome. Yeah buddy. Get that right there. All right, we got that. Some kind of conference room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do apologize for the lack of really anything of substance that's happened so far. Because as we are well aware, 
these frauditors usually have nothing but dead air in their videos because that's all the content that they're able to produce on the internet. But they realize that all they have to do is pick a fight with a helpless employee for no reason, as we'll see shortly. I guess this is that room right here. There's a cop right there. Well, let's see what he has to say. How's it going? All right. How are you? All right. Hey, how are you? Howdy. Got a name, badge number? What do you, what do you, yeah, of course. What are you guys doing? Name and badge number? Okay. You're not gonna identify, sir? I'll pull your personnel record and find out who you are. Why are you walking up on me, trying to intimidate me? Won't why are you, work. Why, why, what, what are you doing? What's it look like? It's self-evident, isn't it? Are you, are you wanna, gonna identify? Are you uh, Don't First talk Amendment to me. Shut audit? Up. Shut your mouth. So this is a common ploy that these frauditors, including Jimmy, like to do, and that is when they bark directives and they're not complied with instantly, then it begins acting in a hostile and a rude manner. Now, again, hey, look, free speech is free speech, and in this manner, he can act like a jerk. He can act like a douche. But at the end of the day, you can't expect anyone in any me measure which with authority to then want to comply to your every demand while you're barking orders at them like a child. It's that simple, Jimmy. Are you a First Amendment you're pretty sharp. Are you a detective? Yes, I am. Hey, it's some shows. Are you going to identify or am I going to put paper on you? You going to identify or am I going to put paper on you? No. You got one or two options. No, you need to identify as per your policy. Okay. People know who I am. Well, I don't. I'm the public. You're not going to identify? Okay. This, this is not how you do it. It's how I do it. You don't like it? You butt hurt a little like bit? You don't like what I do. I love what you do. I'm for police. I'm blue all the way, brother. My family's blue. What do we get? That's spelled D I L L I G I M. Dilly get. And it means. Like I, I don't like bad policing. That's what I don't I like. I don't either. I hate it. That's the number one killer of good cops. Number one killer of good cops. Okay. Are you going in? Oh, yeah, it's going to be clear from here. Yes, I'm going okay, in. Okay, good. Right. Have Let's a nice go. day. All right, you're not going to identify? Yeah. No, I'm not. Last I'm supposed chance. to ignore you. Oh, last chance. You you're said you support us. You need to prove I do it. support you, but you have to follow no. the rules. What you rules? have to, your policy, sir. I you're read not, your policy. No, no, no. You're you not have to identify. Where's your name tag? What is, what is, is our that policy? On? Is that what on? is our policy? You have to identify no, in a courteous it. manner. Now, I will tell you, our pal Jimmy really stumped me with this one. So I spent hours searching through the state of Missouri through case law, through statutes, through policies that indicated that, yes, the police had to identify to a member of the public, and I couldn't find anything. In fact, the closest I could find in the state of Missouri was this, where it states that an off a law enforcement officer that takes photographs of someone's property in prosecution of wrongful taking or wrongful taken, which is stealing, then they have to identify by placing or by writing down their name and badge number or identifying number of the arresting officer and his signature. So I don't know, Jimmy. I don't know if this really is a quote-unquote policy that states that an officer has to identify themselves clearly to a member of the public. I think that's just something that you frauditors like to make up. To the Are public. you being courtesy to me? Per courteous to me? Yes, sir. Are yes, you? Sir. Yes, sir. By saying, does my butthole hurt? Is that courteous? Yeah, I'm, I was rude to you when you wouldn't identify. Were you rude to me? Are you being rude now? No. Ma'am, can I get another you complaint form? If, if you don't have a, if you don't have any business up here, I have business. What is your business? I'm other? working on a story. 
Okay. I'm recording my public servants in the course of their duties. Like that. Ma'am, I need another complaint form, please. Yeah, get back to work. Quit wasting tax dollars. Go. Shh, 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 shh. Just keep your mouth shut. How's that? You like that? Yeah, get on back to work. I'll find out who you are, and I'm going to put your record and everything online. I'm going to put you on blast, sir. You're a tyrant. Get on back to work. You quit wasting tax dollars, dum-dum. I need another complaint. <clears throat> All right, there you have it. All right, sorry y'all heard me get rude and shitty with that guy. Let's go. But he should have acted like a tyrant, so he got what he gave. JC News, peace. Well, there you have it. As we see our friend Jimmy, who has no purpose in this parking lot whatsoever, is ignored. It's funny because Jimmy is probably the least convincing tough guy on the internet. It's funny how he always is quick to talk tough, but then always is the one that leaves and gets nothing accomplished. It's great. Anyway, let's have a look now at a classic video of Jimmy Boy being trolled and owned after completing an audit. A lariat. He's running the tag. Get away from that person's car. Oh, he's a dick, man. I don't have to. This is public property. That right there is not cop car. Get away from Don't touch me. What's your name and badge number get since you here. want to buck directives? You want to buck? I'm going to buck with you. Get out of I'm here. not bucking. You are. Get. I'm going. Yep, What's your name and badge number? Jimmy, get off the property. <laughs> this is public property, sir. I haven't committed a crime. You need a crime. You got that accent. Where are you from? None of your business. Get away from my car. You mean like this? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Where's my camera at? What's your uh, name and badge number? I'll go film you. Hey, Robert John 3, David 9, Sam. Yeah, go run it see who it comes back to, yeah, dumbass. Back to. What's your name and badge number? What's your name? What's your badge number? What's your name and badge number? What's your badge number? None of your business. I'm oh, a private do I look citizen. Like a cop? Do I? Do I look like a cop? You got a name and badge number? You gonna identify? I ain't got nothing. You gonna identify? Yeah. Who are you? None of your business. Who are you? None of your business. What's your name, boy? None of your business, boy. What's your name, boy? None of your business. Look at this, y'all. Hey, that's a nice little do-rag you got up there, man. You like that, do you? Look like a... right, get out of here, punk. <laughs> what a great video. All right. Are you clear? I don't want you to hurt yourself. Hey, now. Yep, I'll be back. Hey, what do you got in there? I'll be back. None hey, of your what's business. What's in that bottle? None of your business. What do you got in that bottle? None of your business. Let me see it. Kick rocks. Hey, Where you, going? you can't operate a motor vehicle and have a cell phone. I'm on I'm on public property, phone. buddy. You can't have your cell phone running while you're driving. Eat a dick. Breaking the law. As I've stated, Jimmy is a longtime friend of the channel. And you know, he's out of jail now, but you know how jailbird Jimmy is. He's pretty soon not gonna be able to contain himself, and pretty soon he'll be right back behind bars. Anyway. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and hey, see you guys next time.